है गाइस हंड्रेड पर डिजियर और आप सबका स्वागत है मेट्रो एक्सोडस के एक और गेम प्ले वीडियो में तो आइए कंटिन्यू करते हैं We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next, and I, I'm just waiting for answers, and hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly. Is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Hmm. Take the. Why the long face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm. Yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the orders commander? Explain something at least. You owe us that. Well. I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action: to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs, so that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No, I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict "you talk, you die" policy, and then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on. I have an idea, but uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. A look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the Ark? All need to use radio. We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. <sighs> Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now, which means we have to continue moving forward. Command. What are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow, like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right. How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? तुम लोग की बातें तो खत्म हो जाए. There's a whole world out here, a world where we could live. So far, we only know one thing for sure: radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable, but what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So does anybody live out here? We don't know. 
how will they treat us? I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? And those who killed the children? Again, I don't know. Keep looking, Artyom. That's got to be a signal. But we do know we've been lied to. For 20 years, we've been lied to. We know they've been killing people. Collateral damage is inevitable in operations of such scale and secrecy. Yes, people have died. But the bombs killed tens of millions. Yet we are alive. We stayed alive throughout those years. Artyom almost got killed. Is he just collateral damage too? Guess what? Yes. Masaleko. If you have to choose between the life of a single man, no matter how dear he is to you, and the lives of everybody else, all the dwellers of Metro, then there is nothing to think about. Are you looking for it, Artyom? Come on, do your best. I'm listening to your stories. Would you say the same about me? And about myself too. I've spent my whole life protecting the people of Metro. Do you get it? My whole life, and I wouldn't hesitate for a second. I'm prepared to do anything to ensure Metro survives. Even though they'd shoot me on sight if I returned now, it doesn't matter. Too many lives are at stake. Too many lives have already been sacrificed to hesitate now. Too many. I'm sorry. I didn't want to. I mean, but we have to make up our minds. How will things finish for all of us if we start out lying to each other and arguing? We need to be better. You ask me how things will finish. Well, let me tell you. It all depends on Artyom now. Mere pe saale kaise aaya? If he finds the frequency, if they are alive. Found it yet, Artyom? Please try. It must be there. Ho gayi baat tumhari khatam. Ab main shuru karu. Nothing yet, Artyom. This signal has got to be there. Look some more. ये ये क्या Is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? Huh. <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for. Hmm. Bring it out, the Bring what out, Colonel? Sir, the thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. Uh, you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> bah, bah, bah. It's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? Idiot, That's mama is cut. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Now 
I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to yeah. Aurora! Aurora. <sighs> Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, uh, full steam ahead. Hi. Uh, full oh, steam ahead. Wow, wow that's sure. some distance. I wonder how long it will take. Why is it so far? I to point from here. I this point from here. Oh, I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a Graphics to both the chill over there. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. Wow, wow, wow. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. So. You can resume the journey Andre or continue exploring. But how long have you been working with those jammer people for? About a year, I guess. At first, they got me to sign up by singing of my experience helping people. Told me about weather stations and muted migration observers. I was That's proud true. to be helping Good those words. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people. Yeah, me could like up the pass. What's done is done. Yes, I didn't stop you from going outside. Yes, I tried to talk you out. Yes, I didn't tell you you are not the only ones to survive. But I even know, I didn't have the clearance. I'm not back then. This is a state secret. Do you understand? I've been granted clearance only after a fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits because the war was still on. Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in D6 die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on. Security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. You would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I'm no deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means so that we, like a runner in a treat, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. Don't dare you trip us all over again. Am I understood? I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. Why view the what Jordan's there? A few days later, I was coming back from a run. Stopped the train. In look, the battery got damaged. Found those people. Or kuch, or or or, kante hote. Or kuch kya karne ke liye mitle. Okay. Hello, Artyom. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel. Now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6. So no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Okay. Yeah. Yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah. It is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons, cleaning, boiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. 
Ah, well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. <sighs> Boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory, and homemade, too. Some of those were just amazing, so unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. And weapons, they are like girls. They need attention. You clean your weapon well, you oil it, you check the ammo, because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, the weapon never fails. Ah, well, I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another. Okay, bhai, ho gaya tera? Bhai, bhai, kitni mehnat kar raha hai? Well, hello there, Tom. You people go maybe, maybe out there to drink to Aurora. <laughs> I still think Bill Zabob was a better name. <laughs> uh, by the way, did you come to trade places with me? Or did you just want some exercise? I heard that. Monotonous labor calms you. Well, it's no lie. They won't wake you up. Help yourself. Sure. Because, frankly speaking, I'm a bit tired here. The only good thing about this job is that you forget it's winter. <laughs> I'm good, sir. I'm good, sir. I'm good, sir. I'm good, sir. With your whole body. I'm good, sir. 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 I'm good, I'll take it from here. बाहर जा सकता हूँ? यार मुझे बाहर जाना था मुझे देखना था जरा बाहर। अरे वाह मैं जा सकता हूँ बाहर। ओ भाई क्या व्यू है? आई जबरदस्त व्यू है जबरदस्त। Dear Moses, can you feel how sweet the air is without a mask? Or not just sweet, so many shades of taste it has. A weird feeling, eh, my friend? I remember you telling me how you took your mask off atop a stunken otar. When you honed those missiles in on the dark ones, was the air bitter then? Who knows, though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird, huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. It's and you idiot. are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. And what drink is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? That's a mystery. That's what I often think about when facing a choice. You can't drop the chain either. You always have to drink from that bucket. Well. Bottoms up, I suppose. So, how does it feel to be the Moses who yanked on this particular chain? <laughs> Is it dumb to think about such things when all I ever did in life was carry out orders? Well, I'm not called idiot for nothing. Still, I would like to know what's on the end of your chain. Why is Sunsan area my house? Why are you making me feel like this? Look, if there's no radiation, that means we could bring everyone out of Moscow. It doesn't matter if there's radiation or not, Comrade American. The citizens of Moscow will have to stay put. Why? We're just a short way from the city. The radiation's gone. Things might have been that easy in your America, but life has never been so easy here. Even now, we woke up saviors of the metro, and by lunchtime. We're enemy spies, saboteurs, train thieves, and what for? Something we thought was true turned out to be a lie. Mother, I'm not for them to want us dead. The Han 
Lots of bosses must have known that we can live up here. But the public didn't know that. Who want to stay down in the metro when it's over? Did you believe them? भाई लोग की बातें नहीं खत्म होती भाई और कुछ है क्या करने के लिए यहाँ पे कुछ बैठने के लिए है अच्छा म्यूजिक सुनना है तेरे को राइट ना जा भाई वेपन डायरी मॉस्को विंटर है ना ये तो पीछे पड़ चुकी है भाई अरे इडियट कहाँ गया ये रहा <laughs> भाई ये तो मस्त लग रहा है पैड़ा सा लग रहा है Creatures, Watchmen, change हो गया काफ़ी मतलब as compared to last light और टू जीरो थ्री थ्री के इक्विपमेंट गैस मास्क घड़ी लाइट सूट स्पार्ट एंड सूट अच्छा ये तो मैं बाहर आ जाऊंगा यहाँ पे आके सिगरेट पी लूंगा After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the trans. So guys, आज के लिए इतना ही करते हैं। I hope कि तुम्हें वीडियो पसंद आई हो। पसंद आए तो लाइक करना, शेयर करना, सब्सक्राइब करना। मिलता हूँ अगली वीडियो में। तब तक ले गुड बाय। Take care.